Welcome to part four of SolidWorks tutorial of DryWorks Express. In this tutorial, in this part, we're going to get into DriveWorks Express and start to try to automate this assembly into different types of doors. Uh, to get started using DriveWorks Express, go to Tools and DriveWorks Express. And that comes up. I'm going to go ahead and pin that so it doesn't go away. Um, here we want to create uh, a new da database for our assembly. So click create, do the next arrow. We'll give it a name for this DriveWorks Express. Uh, file, and we'll call it uh, call it door design door design one. And click open, and then we can uh, add models to the database, which will be this assembly. So we'll click next, and we'll use current open model or you can browse for a different one. But since I've got it open, we'll use that one. And this is our default assembly. What we'll do is go click captured assembly structure. Put a check marks next to the a check mark next to the different parts of this assembly. And then click captured models. And so we've got them right here, all of our parts. So what we want to do is capture dimensions or features um, of this assembly. So let's capture some assembly, some uh, dimensions for our panel. Double click it, open up that part, and down here we'll go ahead and click dimensions and features so we can capture some of our dimensions. We want to see our dimensions, double click the base part of the door or part and we'll click once on the dimension that we want. The information comes up of, of where that part is or where this dimension is and then you can change the name of it. In this case we'll call it panel width. We add that. We want to capture the height of the door. So click on the dimension, and here we've got the title, we'll call it uh, panel height, we'll leave that, that's good, we'll add that. So we've got the uh, dimensions that we want to drive for now on this panel. Also with this panel, we want to do something with the configurations that we've done. So you click drawing and configuration, yes, allow me to create a rule to switch configurations. Uh, if you have drawings that are related to this panel, you can also uh, browse and put in a drawing. Uh, for now, we'll just allow the configurations to be switched when we go to drive this assembly. So, that looks good. Go back to Captured Models. Double-click Rail. There's our, there's our rail with this... Uh, S8, config S8 configuration. Same thing, we'll want to go to the dimensions. Here we want to capture the width of the rail. It's already labeled correctly, rail width. We'll add that. We also want to drive or capture the height or length of the rail. Rail length. That looks good. We'll add that. Same thing with this, we want to be able to change the configurations. Click yes. Again, if you've got a drawing, you can browse and connect a drawing to it also or drive the drawing. So that looks good. Let's go back to captured models. Do the same thing with the style.
And this is a uh, this is labeled door height because the the style goes with this particular door the way it's designed. The top of the style to the bottom is the actual height of the door. So this isn't the style height, but it's the door height. So we can add that. Check yes to drive the configurations. So we have some good information so we can start getting into building rules and making a, a form to start creating our doors. You can see that there are many other options. There's features, there's uh, custom properties. So a lot of different options uh, for driving this assembly. So um, you can click the next arrow and in the next tutorial we'll start getting into building a uh, a form with all the different fields all the different options you want for this door um, so thank you for watching